evening and welcome to night prayer here at St Andrew's Horton Le Skern on this rather dull Saturday evening. We'll be using the Worship at Home booklet and you can print a copy from the web address that's showing. And the Bible passages that we will be reading this evening are from Psalm 45, from Isaiah chapter 61 and from Luke chapter 1. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So let's just think about the day we've had and what we've been up to. And let's still our minds from the business of the day as we relax for the evening. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Our psalm is Psalm, uh, is psalm 45, and we're going to read verses 10 to 17. So Psalm 45, starting at verse 10. Listen, daughter, and pay careful attention. Forget your people and your father's house. Let the king be enthralled by your beauty. Honour him, for he is your Lord. The city of Tyre will come with a gift. People of wealth will seek your favour. All glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garments, she's led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her those brought to be with her. Led in with joy and gladness, they enter the palace of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. And we say together, glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Well, is this about a human king and his bride? I think not. The king is God and the bride are his people. God's telling his people that they must reverence him before all others. Compare this, compare this with the first commandment given in Exodus chapter 20, you shall have no other gods before me. And also what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. When you give yourself to God, you leave all your past behind. Don't drag it along with you in the way to get in the way of worshipping God. And that's what the psalm was saying. Uh, a bride leaves what's happened before behind and starts a new life. Worship of God should be glorious, like a beautiful gown with gold woven into it. it should be joyful. The beauty and joy in worshipping God can be seen by those around us and so passed on to future generations. How many generations is it since Jesus died on the cross and rose again? I've got absolutely no idea, but certainly his followers have passed that glorious message on and worship to us. Let's have a look at Isaiah chapter 61. And we're going to read just a couple of verses, verses 10 and 11. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, 
for he's clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness as a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with jewels for as the soil makes the young plant come up and a garden causes seeds to grow so the sovereign lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before other nation all nations another passage about delighting in the worship of god verse 10 we read my soul rejoices in my god and this rejoicing is again likened to a marriage a glorious looking bride congregation of very happy people to see the joining of two people in love as we give our lives to god we become part of that magnificent bridal party and our third reading is one which i'm sure you will have heard many times maybe you've sung it many times it's that magnificent song that mary sang when she realized that god had chosen her to be the mother of the saviour of the world. Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55. It's Mary's song, sometimes called the Magnificat. Luke chapter 1 beginning at verse 46. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my saviour. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He's helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So there's something common running through all three readings. There's glorifying God. There's the delight and sheer happiness of people held close by him. And there's the wonderful message that's passed on from generation to generation. We're the current generation. Let's glorify God. Let's delight in his presence. And let's pass the message on to the next generation. Amen. We come to our time of prayer. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you our praise. We thank you for your greatness, your power, your love, your compassion on us in giving your son to be sacrificed in our stead. We thank you for the fellowship that we can share with one another and the joy that we have in you. May our lives be a witness to others of your great love for all. Amen. And the prayer from this week's Little Net Extra. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, Open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we think about those who are not too well at the minute and we bring them before the Lord and ask for his blessing upon them. We remember all those who are mentioned in our August prayer leaflet. And you mentioned too any that you know who 
are suffering at the moment. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain or in distress of any kind, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we also bring before the Lord the family and friends of those who've died recently, those who are mentioned in our prayer August prayer leaflet and any others that are known to you. And we pray for our church family and today, especially Susan Stabler and those living in the parish in Kilmarnock Road and Kintyre Close. We ask, Lord, that your blessing be upon them all in all that they do. Amen. Join with me in the following prayers that you'll find in the uh, Worship at Home booklet. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are weary by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And we say together, the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this uh, short night prayer. Hope you can join us again for our Sunday morning service tomorrow at 10 a.m. and also our night prayer at 7 p.m. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Good night. God bless.